Then my other question would be from the customer is that, so if you're paying 60 to $80, what kind of channels are you watching? Are you getting all the channels that you wanted in that price? If the customer say yes, or if they say no, ask the customer, are you watching any HBO channel, action movies? If the customer say no, tell them, sir, the amount of money that you're paying, you're not actually getting everything that you wanted to watch. The good thing about our uh, services and the box that we are selling is you have a 30 days of free trial. It, it, you just have to purchase a box. It's only whatever price that you offer or pitch to the customer. Just uh, let's suppose as an example, we pitch about $250. You tell the customer, they say the box uh, costs only $250. There's no contract, no agreement. You can cancel the uh, services at any point of time you want. It comes with all these channels. All you have to pay is for the support service, which is $20 a month. That will allow you to have all these channels. And the other thing that uh, you can also do if you want to save a lot of money, then you can simply sign up for the whole year. So 250 is a box of the cost and if you uh, combine $20 on a monthly basis, that's another $240. But if you pay for the whole year of support, then we're going to get you a box for only $389 that will allow you to have all these channels and support from us for 12 months. And if you get any problem, all you have to do is dial the number and we'll help you out. Now, if you're paying 60 to 80 dollars, in our service, you'll only be paying $20 or service support fee. What the service support fee will do will allow us to make sure that the channels that is coming up is in the right condition, they are working right. And also, if you have any problem, you can just simply give us a call. Now, if you pay for the whole year of service instead of you paying $20 on a monthly basis, if you pay for one time service support fee, then so that support will give you a discount and get you a service for half the price than what you are paying. It maybe cost you about another 10 to uh, $12 instead of $20 a month. So you will save a lot of money. Now, there's no hassle that you don't have to worry about anything. We'll go ahead and place the order, ship the box to you, use it for 30 days. If you don't like it anything, give us a call within 30 days and we will take care of you. We will send you a return label and you simply put the box and attach the return label onto the box and send it to us and we will refund the money to you. So these are the few things that we can tell a customer. Now if the customer tells you at any point of time that I'm only paying $20, which is the incorrect information, customer is not giving you a right information. There is no service out there in the market that tell cus that give customer for $20 all these channels. Now, once the uh, box is received to the customer and the customer indicated that their channels are freezing, simply tell the customer that the reason of the channels are freezing is because of your internet. We do not have any control of your internet. Even though if the customer is indicating that the speed that they are getting is 50 MB or 100 MB, but the channels are still freezing, the best thing that you can uh, tell the customer is that stay on the line, I'm going to confirm it if there's a problem with the channel that you're watching or if the issue with the speed. If the customer indicate to you that I got the box, everything's working fine, but my channels are freezing, you do not have to jump on the conclusion and tell us your internet. You simply tell the customer, sir, stay on the line. Let me go ahead and get it checked and I'll be right back with you. Put the customer on hold. Speak to any of your colleague or the customer service department and ask them, customer is trying to watch this channel. Is this channel uh, is freezing at our end as well? or what is the issue and they can guide you if the channel is actually freezing or is only happening at the customer end. If the channel is not freezing at our end, is freezing at the customer end, simply tell the customer, sir, we have checked it in our system, the channel is working fine and having no issues, no freezing concern. So the issue that you're having is because of your internet is either have weak signal or is not have a stable connection. Now, if the customer has indicated that, no, I do have a 50 to 100 MB connection, but the channel is still freezing, you have to explain to the customer that speed is not an issue. Even though you have a 10 MB speed or a 100 MB speed, it does not really matter is how powerful that speed is. If that's what matter and how stable your speed is. Let's suppose as an example, if the customer have a 100 MB speed, but the internet is fluctuating up and down. A lot of people are using the internet in the area. 
then the speed he will not be getting a right speed because in US not every internet company give you a dedicated internet what dedicated internet means is I have an internet coming in my home and it's dedicated internet that means that that internet connection uh, I'm the only one who will be using that internet connection if customer internet does not provide a dedicated speed that means that this connection is sharing with a lot of people out there in his area is using it so the more people to give you guys a scenario if we have 10 customers using the same internet let's say from AT&T they're having a speed of 100 MB all these customers have a speed of 100 MB speed it's indicated but if they and the internet is shared between all these hundred people so one day one customer at one o'clock go on the internet it shows 100 MB speed and he will get an amazing speed and amazing internet no problem at all if all those 10 customers come from work at 5 o'clock get on the internet and all these 10 users are using the internet they have a shared internet connection even though their speed will show that they're giving 100 MB that's just a speed is how fast the internet is coming in but if it's getting shared that does not mean that the actual internet has the power as well so if, imagine if 10 people using 100 MB connection the in internet is not going to be stable is going to give them a slow connection now the speed what the customer will mention to you is the speed is from the main hub to customer house how fast the internet is coming through it's, it's just like a car it's coming at a speed of let's say 100 MB will put it as 100 MB at 100 kilometer so the car is coming from A destination to B destination in 100 kilometer speed but we don't know how many cars are coming we don't know what kind of power does that car has to, uh, to put it in another example like that is that if a car a small car coming with a hundred MB 100 kilometer of a speed and hit point B the speed that will show is 100 kilometer an hour so just to give you guys an example so this is my point A and this is my point B if the car comes from from this end a small car come from this end to this end from point A to point B in 100 kilometer and get into an accident the impact might be if it impact like this it might go like this that's like the damage will be less now if a big car coming in let's say a big truck coming in with a hundred kilometer of a speed and it hits the point B the damage will be much much higher and it will go down now same concept with the internet speed if the speed of the internet is hundred but a lot of people are using the internet the internet will go down even though the speed is the same so you can give exact same kind of example to the customer that that your internet is a work in the same manner if your internet is getting shared if the car is coming a hundred kilometer hits to point B the impact will be less as compared to a truck coming in with a hundred kilometer of a range and hitting it with a uh, point B it will give a higher impact the speed is the same it's how much internet is coming in that connection that's what matter and you have to contact your internet company and ask them if they provide a dedicated internet to your home or if it's a shared internet if it's a shared internet they can have problem the other thing that they can also do is connect with the ethernet wire and see if the problem gets resolved most of the time if the customer have a freezing issue request a customer service when you watch the tv during the day in the morning time or in the afternoon does that have a different kind of impact does the channel feel the exact same manner as compared to you watching it at 6 or 7 p.m. at night the reason you have to ask that question if the customer say yes it works better during the day but night is not tell the customer during the day everybody comes from work they use internet right after they come home everybody does that nowadays so more people are sharing the internet the speed will be lesser
if you watch it during the day and the, uh, it's working fine because there's not much load on the internet and the channels are working fine. So these are the few examples that you guys can give it out to the customer. At any point of time, if the customer is having issues, you guys cannot resolve it, ask uh, customer service, ask any of your senior reps and they will be able to guide you exactly how to answer those questions. Now, so this is what we sell, this is the box. I hope you guys have understand everything. If you guys have any question, concern, uh, contact your team lead and they will be able to guide you if there's anything that you guys have questions on. Along so basically this is how the box works. Go ahead, make sales and give right information to the customer so the customer cannot give you a call back and tells you that you have given a wrong information to the customer. So good luck guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the training video and learned a few stuff and hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.